For the one billion people in the world who live with a disability, life can sometimes be a challenge. But when Judy Human, a disabled teacher from New York, decided she had had enough discrimination, she helped spearhead a new law that changed United States society forever. In 1949, when she was just 18 months old, Human contracted polio, an often deadly disease that left her using a wheelchair for the rest of her life. As a child, she experienced her first taste of discrimination when the principal of her kindergarten refused to let her enter the building on her first day of school, claiming she posed a fire hazard. Her mother fought for her right to education, and she was eventually enrolled in a public high school, where Human was often bullied by her classmates. But at Camp Gen Ed, a summer camp for children with disabilities, she was able to make new friends and experience an inclusive life. It inspired her to want to change things so that others with disabilities can enjoy the same freedoms as those without. While studying speech therapy at Long Island University, Human led protests, calling for improved access. And after graduating, she applied to be a teacher. But the New York Board of Education denied her request for a license, using an excuse she had heard before. She was a fire hazard. So Human sued and won in a settlement out of court, becoming the first teacher in New York to use a wheelchair. Now a pioneer, she threw herself into campaigning for disability civil rights. In 1972, when President Richard Nixon blocked a new law designed to protect those with disabilities, human organized protests across the country, bringing the streets of New York City to a standstill as dozens of disabled protesters rallied against Nixon's veto. In 1983, she co-founded the World Institute on Disability, a global organization dedicated to improving the lives of disabled people everywhere. But it was the Americans with Disabilities Act which made discrimination based on disability illegal in the U.S. that proved to be her greatest victory. Human went on to serve under two presidents. Today, she is recognized as one of the greatest disability rights activists of her generation. Why do you think it's necessary to advocate for disability rights? 